Yellow, how's it going everyone? Lord 36 here, back with another video, and today we are playing the Fashion Week event in Pokemon Go! So without further ado, let's jump right into the video! At this point, this is just hysterical! We got another shiny... So Fashion Week is here! And I know this is the time of Pokemon Go where events start dying down, they aren't as enticing to play, but Fashion Week brings the hype back. We've got a lot of caution Pokemon that make their returns, we have a couple new Shinies in the game, and we have a new Pokemon. So, starting off with the new Shinies, we've got Furfru, and we have the Veltal. Both of those are new in Pokemon Go, along with the new Pokemon Marini is here. And, in addition to all that, we still have new caution Pokemon. We've got the Diglett, which evolve into the Dug Trios with the hat, which will evolve at the end. And we've also got the Absol with the glasses. I really like the Absol with the glasses. That was a pretty good addition to the costume family. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna explore, we're gonna play. I'm not gonna keep you guys here too long with the intro, but just know by the end of the video, we're gonna do some evolution and we're gonna mega evolve any Pokemon we have not mega evolved for the mega decks. So let's get out there and let's start finding those shinies and hundos. So I was just heading out to see a friend to do some trades because I wanted to get that done before I actually started the hunt for today. And I said, no, I actually have to record this shiny before I actually start the video in the hunt. And that is I found a shiny absolutely way to her. Wow, look wow. at that with the red. That looks so good. Okay, we gotta catch this. That's a great throw. All right, we're good. Yes, we got a new Kashu Shiny. This is one of the ones that I was actually looking for today. I was looking for this, I was looking for the Furfru. Kind of excited to try and find the Blitzel because I still don't have that one either, but we got one. Look at this. And I've been checked, three, two, one. Ooh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. But since we're here, and we're starting off the hunt then, I guess, before I see my friend, let's do this uh, collection challenge. Or is it a collection challenge? I don't think it really is. I think it's just a limited time research that we have here. So I guess we are going to collect that. I have no idea what these opponent appearing gonna, is going to be. So okay, it just looks like it's a Fashion Week trainer. So I guess I'll take this down quickly and then see what we get in terms of rewards because I don't think you want to watch me battle. Oh, it's like last year, except they're not at the actual stop. They're just in the battles here for the research. Okay, but let's take this down and then I'll come back with you guys. Okay, well that was pretty easy. It was just a Marini, a Diglett, and a Furfru. The Furfru was the hardest one of the three, so took it out. Let's see what we get in terms of reward. So you win. Of course I do. Five balls, 500 Stardust, and five Great Balls. Okay, not bad. We'll take some balls. All right, and then I got to catch the Pokemon for the next part. So I can actually just do that right now with you guys. Get that done, and then we'll go to the next part of it because I'm sure we're gonna have to battle some more of those trainers. If the quest is that easy, just catching these things, then we're gonna fly through this quest very easily. If the Pokemon actually catch, clam me out, see the ball, please. Thank you. All right, here we go. Claim the reward, and what's the Pokemon encounter? Program. So we're getting Fashion Week themed Pokemon. I like this. This is actually pretty cool. I like the research so far. But I have some shinies I've got to show you guys that I've caught already besides the Absol because the event's been live for about two, three days now. And I've gotten a couple of shinies, but that's the first Absol, so that was amazing. Krogunk is bad, and what is the next part? Catch for fruit, make some curve balls, and then take a snapshot of Marine in the Wild. All right, let's work on that. Let's hopefully work towards our next shiny of the hunt, and then we'll, we'll battle our next opponent here. Still haven't seen my friend for trades yet, and on the way, we got another shiny Absol! I kid you not, the shinies today are coming in pairs! And I was gonna talk to you about that in the next clip that I was gonna do before this, but I'm like, I gotta, I gotta record this and show you guys. My luck has been insane, but it's weird luck. So let me, let me explain what I'm talking about. By the way, Absol, very, very nice. Ooh, potential PvP. I gotta check that one later on. But I think the HP and the defense is a little bit too low. But anyways, on my way so far, I, I actually just got a Curlia, but look at the shinies. So it's all the same shinies. I got two of Eltals back to back, two Curlia, and then, and then the Absol, and then another Curlia and another Absol. What is happening with my luck this, this event? I'm not mad because I like the look of the Curlia, but I, I have like, what is this? Shiny and Curlia? I have four of them now. What the heck am I gonna do with four of these? 
<sighs> okay, well, maybe mirror trade them for a Shundo that I can't evolve, because as you can see, it can't evolve. But we're doing really good. I'll do a couple checks these Krogunks in the Blitzel, but wow, wow. okay, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. We got two Absols, and we're just starting off. We haven't even done our trades and actually went out hunting yet. What is happening? Oh, and I have to show you as well, I did manage to get a reported hundo of the Marini. Very nice. I have the new hundo and Houndour. Yeah, I went for one. I'm like, why not? Let's get the Houndour. Let's get that registered in again. I have a bunch of those. So very, very good on the hundos and the shiny so far. So let's actually do the next opponent quickly because since we're here, I might as well continue the quest. Ooh, this one's going on like a safari trek. Okay. Rugged Trainer. <laughs> okay, let's battle. Let's see what they have. Let's do a quick battle because I don't think it's going to be hard. Moltres against Furfru. Furfru again. Okay, so these seem to be the, the first Pokemon. And then I guess the back ones are going to be super simple to take down. So Furfru is three hits. Wow, very simple. What's the next Pokemon? I didn't even get to see it. It was Electric type. Okay. And then the last one, Absol. Okay. So they go down relatively easy. They're not hard trainers to take out. It's just a matter of battling them and getting them done. So even new players, they should be able to take this out very easily. All right, we get some more items. We got pineapple berries that time. And now it's making me catch two more Pokemon. So let's do this again. I know we just did this last clip. We're almost doing the exact same clip over again. Let's catch two Pokemon. And then we'll go from there. Also, my hands are so sticky on the screen today. I can't... Okay, fast catch. I need to fast catch. What am I doing? Okay, here we go, and I'm just gonna throw straight because it's gonna catch, it's gonna catch. Please catch, yes, it caught. Okay, Pokemon encounter, we get Diglett with the hat, which funny enough, I will admit this to you guys, they aren't spawning that commonly, which I'm personally happy for because I don't like the Diglett costume. I, I really don't. It's the one new costume that I said, eh, not that great, not that great. Like when you evolve it, which we are gonna do at the end of the video, it only keeps the hat on the one Diglett, so like, why? And the only shiny difference on this one, again, is the nose. So it's nothing really crazy, which I'm like, thank goodness it's not. Wow, okay, what the heck? Oh my goodness. I was gonna say, thankfully it's not spawning that much, but look at this, look at this quest now. There's so much to do. I guess this is the last part then, if there's so much to do. Make some excellent curveballs, power of the Pokemon, lots of stuff. So let's get that done. Let's get some research quest checks. No one the Murkrow, and then I have another one I think is a Furfru. Let's check it. Oh, it's a Plusle. Okay, don't know where that came from, but not Shiny, not Hundo. Let's move to the next clip, which is gonna be another Shiny, hopefully. So this may sound very anticlimactic, but I did my trade with my friend, no Hundos on that. I went on for my two hour grind session and no shiny, not a single one. And as you can sort of see, the sun's starting to set. We're at like the dawn, the dusk sort of part of the night. So it's about to go down, it's about to be nighttime. So I really don't have anything else to share with you guys in terms of the hunt. So we're gonna go to tomorrow where we're actually gonna go to the farm market again. I know we already did this year, but I wanna bring you guys back there because it is fall time. I wanna give you some nice uh, video recordings of that. And uh, yeah, if I get any more shiny tonight, I'll show you as part of tomorrow's clips, okay? So let's go to tomorrow and let's start off with farmer's market and then see what we find in terms of shinies.
little uh, late. Well, I should say morning a little late. Got my nice coffee here. We're trying some new place downtown Brampton called Segovia. Pretty good caramel macchiato, I will admit. Mm -mm -mm. So now, let's bring up the game, all right? And what are we doing? So we didn't have any shinies happen since the last time I was with you guys, but I have the gold battle day rewards to collect. I did all that. I'm still working on my GPL set because Master League, I, I hate it. So something you didn't know about me, I will expose myself. I do not do well in Master League. So I usually do not do a lot of Master League. And we're also working on this quest down here still with the battles. We're almost done that one there, so I'm excited. And we've got an opponent to battle, so let's see. We got the last battle to do, so let's get this through, get the quest done, and then we'll uh, move forward from uh, our hunt, and we'll begin hunting for, you know, some more shinies, maybe a hundo, but mainly shinies. So this battle won't be hard, hopefully. It's just gonna be, again, fur fru and then a couple other random Pokemon here with the costumes. So we haven't battled a Butterfree yet, so maybe a Butterfree's gonna appear. What's this? Frillish, okay, Frillish. And then what, a Glammeow? We're gonna get a Glammeow to come in? Nope, uh, Krogunk. All right, there we go, took it out, all done. So here we go, we got our reward, we get our balls, and then I think that's it. I think we're done the quest now. Nothing else to do for uh, fashion week in terms of research. Oh, no, we gotta catch two more Pokemon for the last part here. So let's do it quickly like we did for the last clip that we did, where we did the two catches. And then after that, we'll start hunting today, because I'm gonna go out for a, a pretty long hunt. It's a nice day today, good weather. And I wanna see if we can get some more of the shinies. I wanna get the Blitzel. That's the big one, and Furfru. Those are the big two that we're looking for. Okay, let me catch a Murkrow, please and thank you. Come on, catch. Okay, I missed the ball that time. Here we go, perfect, okay. And what's our last encounter for the Fashion Week time research? Ready? Three, two, one. Absol with the glasses. All right, so we got that shiny. You already saw it, but it's a nice costume and I really love it. I think it was a great addition to the costume family in terms of, you know, the costume of the decks. Hopefully they do some more good ones in the future, not like the Diglett. We're gonna evolve that at the end, so do not worry. And not bad in terms of IVs. But that is it. We're done Fashion Week research. So now we're just gonna work on the regular research quest. We're gonna try and hunt some shinies. And uh, fingers crossed we get something today because I want some better luck than we had um, the first couple of days. Yesterday was great, but let's see if we can top that today. Well guys, I thought I would have some better luck than this, but you know, we gotta start somewhere. We've been up for almost two hours again on the hunt and we got a shiny Kirby again. That's the uh, third one for this video, I believe. Like, holy moly. And let's get that excellent throw because we are that good at throwing these balls at them. But man, I've been having some bad luck. I thought maybe by now I'd have the fur fruit at least to share with you guys, but no fur fruit just yet. Man, and I've done a couple of Veltel raids as well while I was in between the hunt of catching and checking. But yeah, no luck and no crow gunk either. So hopefully this will show up soon. And again, we're trying to evade that Glamio. I've seen so many of the Glamio quests and they were smart to give us Glamio and Furfru from them. So fingers crossed we don't run into the Glamio. I may have just jinxed it now, but yeah, another shiny for the books. And let's continue on and see if we can find the Furfru, please. So this clip is gonna be a bit of a chill one because I have a couple things out to you guys on. So the first one, is a research task. So I actually managed to get here a Hundo CP Furfru. So let's catch that together. This will be Hundo number four, I believe, for Furfru that I have. I got three last year. I managed to get very lucky. So here we go, another Furfru to add to my collection as a Hundo. Very nice. That is a good one to get a Hundo of so I can change the costume on it one day or the, the trim as they call it. There we go, very nice. And I actually did manage to get one other hundo on my hunt here today, and that was a Skitty. I already have the hundo of it, but always nice to get extras of them in case, you know, something interesting happens with hundos where we can transfer them or something for, you know, extra candy or some rare items. So, very nice. And I have to update you guys on, as you could probably already see, the team leaders. So team leaders have their models updated, and as you're seeing, they're the cursed ones. Do not worry, these aren't the ones that are actually in the game. They fixed them now, they look a lot better, but they were some pretty funny outfits they had. They, the, the models were cursed, they didn't put them in properly, they didn't program them properly, but now they're all better, so I'll put the little screenshots probably of the updated versions of them. They're better, but they still look ugly. I'll tell you that much. The only decent one is, thankfully, Team Valor leader, um, Candela. 
she has the good outfit. I really like her with the, with the whole, I guess, the goggles vibe up there. I like that. But I guess it's supposed to be like referencing the past. So I guess Blanche really studied. Uh, Spark was like a jockey and, and, and I don't know, she was like a passionate pilot at one point. I don't even know what they're trying to reference with her, what she was doing back in the day. But very cool that they changed the outfits on them. It shows the potential of future updates. Maybe they'll change their outfits for maybe future events like Halloween or for, you know, Christmas. That'd be nice, you know, wearing like an elf themed costume. Probably won't ever happen, but very cool to know the potential is there. And that's gonna be about it for today. I don't really have anything else to share. Probably not gonna get any shinies for the rest of the day because my luck hasn't been too great. So let's move on to tomorrow and uh, probably the last day of the hunting for the video. And here we are on this beautiful but brisk Sunday morning. I did an Eveltal raid so I could check it with you guys. I haven't done a single shiny check on the Eveltal for the video yet. So here we go. Three, two, one. No, not shiny. So it's no bacon, but 2641. That's pretty bad as well. So let's actually catch this and then hopefully we can get some good shinies today. Like we're looking for the fur fruit. That's the big goal for today. So let's do like a side hunt if I can get it because yeah, I don't have shiny Blitzo, but I can't evolve it regardless. So it's like, I'll just get the costume one and then I'm sticking with that. But hopefully we get some cool stuff today. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, let me actually speed through this Velto catch and then we'll move forward with the video. There we go, caught it, perfect. Took a little time, but we got it down. So let's check the IVs, 5XLs and 141111. Nothing too crazy, okay. And please don't be shiny. Okay, we're good, Glamio is not shiny. We're not wanting those to come to the box today. Please no, we're looking for you, Fur Fru, you. So please and thank you, cooperate with us today, give us that shiny and let us begin the hunt. We're doing pretty good today for this event. So let's see if we can do better by finding ourselves a new shiny. Really? Another shiny Curlia? Again, two hours of hunting and this is what we get as a result of it. Yikes. 277 CP is a decent size but very small for one. I don't know what to say. I haven't been having much luck with the last day and a half of hunting. Oh boy, come on. At least be a Shundo. That'd be nice, right? Can I have a Shundo Curlia? Ah, uh, no, you cannot. Okay, I tried, but dang. I always, I, uh, I'm just so upset because I've been hunting up for so long and I thought I was gonna get something else, but nope, another Curlia. There it is. And a little check Glammy House for you because maybe you get a live reaction of you want being upset and transferring it. No, okay, no shiny Glamios, good. Butterfree, these have been less common. I haven't seen my view post these this year. And uh, Centric, just randomly. So that's about it. I also forgot to show with you another hundo that I got yesterday. I got the hundo costume Blitzel. It's my first costume hundo Blitzel. So that's really cool. And that also made it that I got three hundos from research yesterday. That's pretty insane luck. I posted it on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, check it out there. I always put the shinies for the day on there, along with some of the hundos that I find. So I haven't been having much luck, but you know, you can't always get lucky with the spawns. It's just a matter of, like I said, luck. If I don't get lucky, then that is what it is. So I'll keep going, but if I don't find anything else, then we're just gonna head back home and we're gonna end the event with some evolutions. So I know I said that this was gonna be the end of the video, that we were done hunting, but I decided, you know what? Let's play Monday. Let's play the last day of Fashion Week and let's go out and explore and see what we can find. So we're here for Monday afternoon. We're gonna go up for a little more hunting, see what I can find and really cross our fingers that we can find the fur fru shiny because that's the one that i really want if we find the blitzer or the, or the diglet you know i'll be happy if we find the glam meow oh just know i'm not gonna be happy but let's go out there let's try and see if we can find and then if nothing we'll just come back here a little bit later in the evening and we'll do all our evolutions at this point this is just hysterical we got another shiny curlio with the top hat it's, it's, it's getting ridiculous what is actually happening at this point I've gotten way too many of these. Okay, we'll take it. We will definitely take this and collect another one. What is this, number five alone for the video? Oh, unless it runs. No, it didn't run. Okay, we get to keep it still, but this is just getting too funny. 
the fact that we keep seeing this over and over. Give us something different, please. Okay, we caught it. There we go. We got something. So we're starting off the hunt pretty good. We get a shiny. But is it Shundo? Three, two, one. No, not a Shundo. All right. Well, that's another Curlia. Check a climb out for you guys and let's continue on and see if we can get something different. Please, no more Curlias. We've gotten way too many of them already. And that's a wrap for the Fashion Week event. Now, the big question is, did I get a shiny fur fru? And the answer is no, I didn't get a shiny fur fru, unfortunately. But the last two minutes of the event, I kid you not, we got a shiny and it was a new one, the Blitzel. I was finally able to collect my shiny Blitzel. And this one has a costume, so it makes it just a little bit more rare in terms of my collection. So very nice to finally have that one registered in the decks. Now, let's go over all of the hundos and shinies that we got for the event. And you can pretty much see the shinies I already got. So starting from the Evel Tulls, we did pretty good. We got six shiny Curlias, two Absols, the Blitzel, and two Evel Tulls. Pretty good shiny hole, I will have to admit to you. And in terms of hundos, I was able to get one more hundo tonight of the Rowlet. I got Blitzel, Furfru, Skitty, Houndour, Marini for hundos from this event. So very happy to get the Marini and no nundos for the event. So just to clarify, I didn't get any 0% Pokemon. So let's actually start with evolving the brand new Pokemon here. So this is the Marini and a lot of people say it's really creepy, but I think it's cute. Also, it shoots out a little projectile from its head. I never actually noticed that. So let's do that. Let's evolve this guy, get it registered into the Pokedex for the evolution, and uh, get Toxapex. That's the name of the evolution there. Oh, it actually suits the projectile before it evolves as well. So this guy actually is really good for PvP. So I managed to get one as well for PvP for Great League. So I'm going to test it out eventually. There it is. Wow. Wow. It just covers itself completely. Very nice. Registered in the Pokedex. Beautiful. There it is. Still creepy, but still cool. So it shoots. Oh, wow. Okay. I never actually noticed that from the main series games. It shoots all of those projectiles from the top of its head there. So it starts with one and then it gets multiple. Wow. wow. Okay. That is really cool. And we'll have to max that out eventually in a future video. And also now, before I forget, let's do the Diglett with the hat. So let's evolve this one here. Okay. So this is one of the new costumes for the two new costumes that we got. So let's evolve it and see what it looks like. I've been I've been seeing screenshots of the evolution and I think it just keeps the hat on one Diglett. The three of them don't get each separate. It's just, yep, here it comes. Mm-hmm, there it is. I actually haven't evolved the Diglett in a very long time, so it doesn't actually raise itself. It just stays on the ground and then evolves. That's interesting. See, so yeah, only one of them gets to keep the hat. That's really weird. I don't know why they did that. And obviously the other new evolution that we got was with the Krogunk. So I actually have a shiny Krogunk with the hat back from 2020 when we first had our Fashion Week event. Now I was thinking of evolving this one, but I actually am going to just opt to evolve the Hundo that I have for the decks because why not? I want to keep the shiny with the hat as the base form until I actually am able to get a second one in the future because I'm sure with Fashion Week next year, we'll get the same costumes and I'll return. But let's do the, the hundo here. Let's get this registered. And then let's do some mega evolutions that I want to complete for the decks. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, the hat. <laughs> oh, it's completely shredded. That's hilarious. There you go. So there's our Toxic Croak with the Snapback Cat completely demolished. All right, so that's all I want to do in terms of evolutions for you guys. Now we're going to just do quickly mega. So let me get them all lined up for you guys and then we'll go one by one, just making them for the next, do like a rapid fire of the new megas. So here is our current mega decks. Here are all the entries I have registered and unregistered for the mega decks currently. So we're going to go through and we're going to do every single one except for 354 because we know that's going to be the Bennett coming out soon. So let's start off with Alakazam. We'll just do a quick speed round of it. For reference, all of these are going to be Hundos. So I only Mega Ball Pokemon if they're going to be Hundos of the Mega Pokemon. So first one here is Alakazam with its 
multiple spoons that it likes to rotate. I bet you it's having some nice uh, ice cream sundaes with those spoons there. Next up, we have Scizor. So we're actually going to skip the Steelix because I don't want to make it because I don't have a hundo for it just yet. So we're skipping Steelix. We're going to wait until we get the hundo for that entry there. So there we go. Mega Scizor. Looks very nice, actually. Next up is our most recent Mega, which is the Agron. So this one just came out the last um, Steelhead event, the Test Your Metal. So I didn't make this one before, but I'm just going to make it now. And there it is. It gets even bigger. Very cool. I like the look of this one as well. And look at the best buddy ribbon. Oh, that's so cool. And for some reason, I never made the Mega Manectric. I don't know why I let this one go for so long, but let's get it done now because I just can't stop waiting on doing these. I have to just get them all done so I can work on making them to their level threes so I can maximize my XL candies on them. Even though I already have an electric type maxed out as a mega level three, uh, it's good to have variety even if I just want to do it on a regular day. I don't have any for, for example, the Ampharos, which is my level three mega for electric types. So there is mega Manectric. And then the final two we have are going to be Latios and Latias. Now I'm not going to cut for these because these ones are special, okay? These ones are very, very high cost in terms of their energy. 300 mega energy. So this is my level 40 hundo that I have here. So let's get this one registered. And then my other one is actually a shundo. I never made the shundo into a mega Latias. So there's Latios. Again, it just confused me because the evolutions look exactly the same in terms of coloring with the Megas, even the shiny forms. The shiny forms stay the same as well. But even the regular forms, here we are with the Latios, it's purple. Now, if we go to Latias, which is my Shundo here, let me get the Latias pulled up. Here it is. Shundo Latias, and actually I should say Shlundo because it's lucky as well. I never actually mega evolved it and it actually goes into the, the other coloring which is the green but it would have been purple if it's the regular one. So they say the same coloring regardless of Latios or Latias which is really odd to me but regardless it is what it is and let's make it. Shundo Latias in Pokemon Go. Bam. Here it comes. Give me the green. And boom. Wow. wow. Look at that. And the best buddy ribbon on it as well. That is a really nice coloring on it. There we go. So I'm going to start working on that little by little. I don't actually know how much it cost me to re-mega evolve these. So I'm just actually going to go to Latios quickly. I'm going to keep that there for the night. I'm going to go to Latios. And okay, so it costs 60 mega energy every time I want to re mega evolve it. So I may just wait the cooldowns just because I'm not in a rush to make these level uh, three in terms of their mega levels. But it's going to take me a while, so I just wanted to get the evolutions all out of the way for all these so I can actually get them started in terms of their mega leveling. And why not end Fashion Week by maxing out a Furfru to level 50? It is pretty much the mascot of Fashion Week, as we've sort of seen. The only time I ever come back is for the Valentine's event, and that's because of Valentine's we get to see the fur fru as uh, the heart stamp one. So I'm not going to change the form, it's already there. So I have the XLs, let's max it out. There it is, level 50 on the fur fru, 2387. So I actually could use that in Ultra League if I wanted to try it out. I don't know how viable fur fru is at the moment. I don't think it's that great in terms of usability. So for now, we have level 50 fur fru. And I actually can get another one in about 80 more candies. So pretty nice to have one done. And I'll start working on making my next one below 50. So that's going to be it for uh, the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed Fashion Week. Let me know in the comment section below if you got any shinies, what hundos you got. Were there any fashion costume book when you were looking to get that you managed to get or didn't get? I unfortunately didn't get the fur fru. But it'll come back in the future, and at least we know the shiny is out for now. So I'll be able to get it in the future. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to boom, hit the like button. Click the button down below to subscribe to the channel. Hit it beside it. 
let you know if I want to put a new video. I've been learning easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, buddy.